Hey y'all. Hi. We are here making another Two Tipsy Bakers video. Uh, before we even get started or tell you what we're gonna make today, we're gonna take a drink break. Hmm, that's really good. So, um, today we are going to be making biscuits with homemade butter and accompanied by a nice southern dinner. We're going to make uh, southern fried tofu and mac and cheese and green beans and mashed potatoes, all kinds of good stuff. But um, yeah, so join us for the ride. This is going to be one of our simpler baking recipes, so we decided to make a whole dinner to go with it. Um, to go with our biscuits though, we decided to make some homemade butter. For homemade butter, you just need heavy whipping cream and salt. Pour it in a mason jar and you shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your butter. Shake your butter. This is taking forever. You know what that means? It's time for a drink break. So halfway through your butter process, it's going to turn into whipped cream. Once you get to that point, you're going to want to keep shaking until it turns into butter. Now you'll start feeling something hard shake around because the butter and the buttermilk will start separating. So once your butter starts getting a little bit closer to being ready, you'll see it separating from the sides and it's going to start forming together and out of it you're going to get buttermilk, the liquid part, and then the solid part will be butter. So you gotta keep shaking, which means I gotta keep drinking. So when your butter's pretty much ready, you're gonna hear that sloshing sound, and you're gonna be able to clearly see the solid separated from the liquid. So you're going to want to open it up, Pour the liquid out. That's your buttermilk. You can actually use this in your biscuit recipe. And then you're going to want to pour out your butter. Which you can also use in your biscuit recipe. It's going to be a little chunky. Um, and what you're going to want to do now is rinse it with cold water. That will help solidify it and will help get off some of the buttermilk so it doesn't go bad. Now that I've rinsed it, I'm going to put it in the fridge to solidify so that I can use it in our biscuit recipe. And that was a whole lot of work, which means it's time for a drink break. After all the work to make the butter, I'm kind of glad this is a simple recipe make the biscuits, you're going to need flour, biscuit flour, sugar, sugar, buttermilk, buttermilk, and butter, and homemade butter. First you're going to measure out your biscuit flour, and you're going to place that into your butter. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to add half a teaspoon of sugar into your flour close together. So next you're going to add your butter, but you're going to want to do it in small, pea-sized amounts. Breaking up butter looks like hard work. That means it's time for me to take a drink break. Mm. Next you're going to add your buttermilk to your flour. The directions give a variety of measurements, so we're going to start with two-thirds two -thirds and see how it feels. So you're going to flour your counter or your workspace, and in our case a little bit of the floor too, so that you can roll out your biscuit. Next, you're going to use a biscuit cutter, or in our case, a mason jar lid, to 
cut your circular.